in this video, I'm gonna have somebody draw a scribble for me, and out of that scribble, I'm gonna somehow make a picture. And that person is, because I don't have friends, my brother. Yay. All right, so now he's gonna do the scribble. Go ahead. Just make it pretty big. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> All right, <laughs> that's it. Okay, okay, now time to make something out of this. Let's go. And so I looked at this picture for what felt like forever, tossing and turning it around until I saw something, anything that looked remotely like a picture. Which brings me to the rules of the challenge. Rule number one, I can turn the picture to any direction to help me see a picture somewhere in there. As you see me doing here, I'm turning the picture around so I can see some kind of picture in there. Rule number two, every single line has to be used. I can't leave any lines from the scribble alone. Every line has to be put incorporated in the picture somehow. And rule number three, the picture has to be done by the end of the week. The only problem is right now it's Tuesday night and it's almost my bedtime. So I knew I wouldn't be able to get started on this today and I had to go ahead and hit the hay. Bars! So first thing that next morning I got up and I and I got to work straight away. Well, actually not straight away. You probably think I first went to school. And if you think that, you'd be wrong. You see, when I woke up, my eye looks like I got punched by Mike Tyson. I don't really know why. It just was swollen like that when I woke up. So I skipped school, but I had to go to the doctor. I thought I probably had some weird zombie contagious disease. Turns out I didn't, which is boring, but the doctor figured it out. And it's fine now. So Wednesday, I didn't actually do anything which is the biggest reason why this drawing was so stressful at the end, but we'll get to that later. But then finally on Thursday, I got to work, but then this happened. So it turns out this scribble, like I, I have no idea what to do with it. I mean, I've been literally looking at this thing forever and I, I'm at a loss. So I'm gonna have to get a new one. It's not cheating, I'm gonna use the same person, but I need a new scribble because this is just, I don't know what to do with this one. So I got my brother to do another scribble and here it is. Oh, and there's my dog. And so finally, after all the challenges, the time limit I have, the zombie disease thing, the first scribble not working, finally, I had something I could work with. And pretty immediately, I knew what I wanted to do with this. So, yeah. And without any further ado, this is the beginning of turning a scribble into an artwork on Thursday. <music> So as I said, I kind of knew straight away what I wanted to do with this. Uh, I kind of saw Godzilla here. I don't really know why, that's just where my brain went, so I went with that. And I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. I only looked at like one reference picture before I got started, and I think it actually looks like Godzilla. I probably would have made him a little thicker than he is here, but obviously I couldn't because the way the scribble was done. Uh, and I was kind of thinking that maybe this mess down here would be like fire kind of stuff, maybe because he breathes fire. I didn't really know what I was doing with it, and if you want to know why he's just kind of floating midair, I'll do something that makes that make sense later, so keep watching until then. But uh, yeah, I turned those, what I said was going to be fire down there into buildings, falling apart, decaying buildings, which is perfect for a picture with Godzilla in it. So yeah, without any further ado, enjoy. <laughs> wondering why Godzilla is just floating midair. Well, I was wondering that too. So basically I had King Kong back here and basically the, the idea is King Kong kind of threw Godzilla over here. And th th that's part of why I love this picture. It's something that I would have never drawn like off my own imagination. Obviously this isn't too far off from the stuff that I normally draw, but like I would have never thought of the idea of like King Kong throwing Godzilla like a hundred feet in the air. So that just doing something different like that that I would have never thought of. That's why I, I, I enjoyed this piece, but I, yeah, I didn't stay that way forever. Cause then Friday rolled around. Friday was okay. The main problem is that I have a life. That sounds really depressing. <laughs> what I mean by that is I know I have things to do other than just sit here in my room and draw pictures. Like on Friday, I had to go to school. And when I came home, I really didn't feel like doing this, but I did because I knew I had to. 
but basically my plan for Friday was I, was, I would do like the ink line work on uh, Godzilla and King Kong, and then on Saturday and Sunday I would do the buildings, which sounds like a good plan, except for the fact that I know I have other things that I need, need to do in between that. And especially now I'm on Christmas break, I have to like spend time with my family and go Christmas shopping and all kinds of stuff like that, and more than I would normally do. So I, I was just concerned that I wouldn't have the time to finish it the way I would like to get as much done as I would like to, is what I should say. It, I got kind of stressed on Friday is my point, I guess. Um, but yeah, then it all got a lot worse when Saturday came. This was a pain. Okay, it is Saturday, and currently it looks like this. It's okay. It's pretty good so far. Yeah, I just really don't feel like grinding this out right now. I'm um, like, I just know I have to do it today because like I won't be able to finish the rest of it tomorrow so I have to do something today but I'm really not feeling it right now but I, I got to do it so cross your fingers let's go so as you can see there I definitely wasn't pumped about the idea of doing this picture on Saturday but obviously I knew I had to so I just went ahead and did it but I was feeling pretty lazy on Saturday I don't really know why I just kind of was uh, but that laziness definitely showed in how much work I did on Saturday because, yeah, this building you see me drawing is the only thing I did on Saturday. Uh, I didn't even fully finish it. I did the majority of the building, but I didn't even finish it. So that's that's the main reason why I <laughs> really rushed on Sunday. So, yeah, it was pathetic. Anyways, you can watch my patheticness now. <laughs> That's it. I just kind of decided to quit at this point. <laughs> Why am I like this? Well, anyways, I had to pay for my stupidity on Sunday. So, this is a blast. Alright, it is Sunday. I'm disappointed in my laziness from yesterday, but, you know, it is what it is. We gotta move on. I oh, don't know, this just stressed me out. I mean, it looks cool right now, but it definitely needs a lot more finishing. So, without any further ado. Let's finish it. Currently, it is 6 o'clock. We've, we've been making some good progress, especially compared to what I did yesterday. But yeah, I can't keep this up on an empty stomach. So I'm pretty hungry right now. I'm going to have to eat. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to get back to this later. Alright, cue the transition. Okay, I made a mistake. It is currently 11 o'clock right now. Yes, I'm aware I have a problem. I definitely shouldn't have done that. <laughs> but yeah, I don't, the, the time just flew away so I just gotta get to it okay let's go so I knew right away I needed to get a one-hour timer going because that's as much time as I have left in this thing so I started it and got straight to work
the time has flown by again, and what was once a one hour timer now has six minutes on it, and now one and a half minutes, and now I've changed the camera angle, but not a lot of time at all. Bad. Well, there you have it. There were some things I would have liked to have done better if I didn't have the time limit. But I basically successfully turned a scribble into this drawing. <laughs> but I decided that I was going to go over every scribble, all the initial scribble lines with this sharpie right here. And uh, yeah, just notice how I followed the second rule of the challenge and every single line from the initial scribble that rhymes Bars! was incorporated into the picture. So uh, yeah, there's the scribble. I'm done finally. Click those videos on screen and subscribe. Bye.